guys, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while. Uh, so today we're going to vlog because I have a few things to do. So first up, I actually need to go to NGV because apparently they restocked some of the course figures um, two days ago. So I am almost afraid if I go there today, there's not going to be anything. But I'm still gonna try anyway. They just restocked a few styles and I think I already have the rest of them but I don't have the along the way one. So I'm really hoping that they have it there today. So I'm gonna go there first and then after that, I'm gonna hit up Restore Store, which is Restore Store. Does that sound weird? <laughs> um, but I'm gonna hit up that store. They are a resale store and they have some really cool stuff. So I'm gonna hit that up, show you guys as well, because if you guys are in Melbourne, definitely check them out. I went to their store the other day and I wanna go back today because they have some new Murakami stuff and it's so, so cute, so I can't wait. And then later on today, we're gonna have a feast because Beatrice is coming over and this is the first time that she's visiting my new apartment and I don't know why I'm telling you guys like my whole plan for the day but I guess at least you know what's happening in this vlog but yeah I'm gonna stop talking we need to head out because we don't know maybe there's a line at NGV maybe everything is sold out I have no idea but I need to buy more clothes I'll show you guys my outfit real quick so it looks a bit weird because there's like two buckles but I'm just wearing my Uniqlo fleece jacket that I've been wearing so much and then the Alix necklace i think i've done this look before because you know the leaks did have a montclair collaboration was it last year anyway they had a collab and there was a buckle on the jacket i don't have that so i'm just gonna diy <laughs> my little elix uniqlo thing um i like how the jacket has like a zip so you can like so zip it up this way. I think that looks kind of cool. I'm wearing just a Uniqlo course t-shirt. I feel like I'm wearing a lot of Uniqlo today. And then don't ask me why I have a mirror in my kitchen, but I thought I'll show you the rest of my outfit. So the pants I'm wearing is my Nike ACG cargo pants. I have this in an extra small and I love these so much. I wear them like way too much. And then today's sneakers is the Jordan 1 UNC Obsidian. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're actually like a size 7, which is one size too big for me. But I don't think it's that noticeable if I don't tell you guys, but they're not my size. But anyway, let's head out. so happy that they still have these course figure in here but I can't decide what I want to get because I always wanted this one here but I don't really want the black colorway and the retail price is $710 I've already got one of that in the brown and as you guys know I have the BFF in like pink and blue so I was actually gonna get one of these today but now that I see my options I want to buy everything but I think I'm gonna go for this one over here. It's super sunny, so I don't know whether this is overexposed, but I got my along the way course. Super, super happy. So I think they have quite a bit of like stock left still. And yeah, if you guys are in Melbourne and you want to pick up more course figures, highly recommend. So this one was like 565 Australian dollars, which I think in terms of retail price, it's actually okay because when I usually cop on the course one website, after shipping and everything, it usually works out to be like 600-ish dollars. So I guess I save on shipping. I can't even see myself because it's so sunny. So hopefully this clip doesn't look weird. But right now um, I'm going to head to Restore Store, but they only open at 12 o'clock. So I don't actually know. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Let's do that. quick unboxing I don't really know what's in here guys but I'm gonna unbox something from Louis Vuitton and from what I've heard is from the LV Negro collection 
I'm very excited. I actually haven't seen any pieces from this drop. So... Oh wait. <laughs> okay, it's definitely some sort of wallet. <gasps> oh my god! It's the one with like the little like tortoise like turtle thing. Look at this. So cute! There you go. I actually picked up like one of the tiny bags from the drop. It was like, I don't know if you guys have seen it. It has a like little turtle as well. And it's like one of those like iPhone like case. But I haven't received it just yet. But let me know what you guys think about this collection in the comments below. But I actually think it's super, super cool. And I don't know. I want everything. I'm finally home and Beatrice is here. But she'll make an appearance later on. But we got a HSP. HSP stands for Halal Snack Pack. And I'm just super hungry, so I need to show you guys. So this is definitely not the healthiest thing to eat. So essentially, there is some lamb and chicken and it's covered with all this sauce. I'm pretty sure it's like garlic, chili, there's also cheese, and then chips underneath this pile of meat. I know it doesn't look very cute or appetizing at the moment, but it actually tastes really, really good. So I'm gonna dig into it right now. I bought this hot sauce a while ago because I kept seeing Instagram ads on it. I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but it's like a truffle infused hot sauce. And this one's like the hotter one, so I think we're gonna try this later on. So we got some HSP, we're gonna go get some food delivery. So I think we're getting pizza. Are we getting anything else? I don't know. We're just getting everything. Um, oh yeah, and we're gonna Burgers. be making some cocktails. So yeah, you just come eat, come eat. We got some pizza as well. Um, <laughs> Beatrice will do the unboxing for you guys. So that one is the Quattro Salami. Can they actually see it? And then here is the garlic bread. Look how good this looks. So we were actually planning to make some cocktails before the pizza arrived. But I think we were just, I don't know what we were doing. Like we were just talking too much and then the pizza arrived. So I'm conflicted. Like do we make the drinks first? Or do yeah. we? Okay. I've never actually made a cocktail before. And we were talking about drinks the other day and I really love passion fruit so I just looked up like passion fruit cocktail and the first recipe was passion fruit mojito so I got all the ingredients that we need so I've got like mint, passion fruit, soda water <laughs> and also some white rum. Also Beatrice has made cocktails before so... <laughs> how, much, how much mint do we need? Just like a handful okay whatever. I thought she was kidding when she said you need to slap the mint, but apparently you you need to slap that mint. Yeah. Okay. Should I like tear it? Yeah, I'll try it. I got my passion fruit puree. Okay, I'm gonna put like I think that's fine. So I made some like sugar syrup earlier, so it's just like hot water and sugar, and they're meant to be equal parts, so you get a sugar. It's meant to be equal parts, so you get a sugar syrup. I actually don't really know how sweet this is, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. I guess if it's not sweet enough, you can add more later. I'm gonna do like two spoons of this. And then Beatrice is pouring the white rum. Water. 
<laughs> but why does it look like not attractive? Like it looks so good in the photo and like I don't know why does it look so weird? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. It's a taste test. Maybe I need more. I don't know. Put passion I'm not sure how I feel about this. Pour it in. Just pour it in. Just pour it in. <laughs> Do we need more rum? Okay, let's put another shot. Yeah, go. I think I think it needs more lime. Like it needs to be more sour. Why is this lime so dry? <laughs> Beatrice brought these limes over, <laughs> and they're so dry. <laughs> How long have you had these limes for? I just bought it. Oh really? <laughs> they're so dry. Okay, guys. I think that's our little like cocktail making session. I don't think it was very successful, honestly. Yesterday, Beatrice made some like alcoholic gummy bears, which essentially she just soaked gummy bears in vodka. Yeah. And apparently that's the thing. <laughs> because when she told me that, I'm like, how do you make gummy bears? Like I thought she was making gummy bears from scratch, but no, she's soaking it. And it actually smells really good. So she just used like some Haribo gummy bears, which by the way, guys, this is my favorite gummy bear. I need to show you. The Haribo one, I think they're the best gummy bears and the only, not really, I eat all kinds of gummy bears but like one of my favourites. This is Beatrice's creation with vodka soaked gummy bears so we're gonna try one. Yes. into our pizza I thought I'll give you guys another look look at this this looks so good so this is cheese and garlic and then this one is just a salami pizza and then I'm also going to have some hot sauces with it so I bought this wait I think I told you guys earlier anyway there's two versions of it that's the regular one and then this one is the hotter version we just tried this one but it's actually not that hot but it actually is pretty tasty so if you guys haven't tried it um, yeah you could try it out I bought into the ad. Okay guys, my face is really really red because I had like one drink. Every time I have a little bit to drink, my face turns into a tomato. Also, we made another drink. So here we have some gin and tonic. I think in one of my vlogs during quarantine, I made a gin and tonic little segment. But this doesn't look as good as the one I made. But yeah, Beatrice made one as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's a hand. And hers has passion fruit in there. Does it taste good? Yeah. Anyway, I need to stop rambling. So I wanted to do a quick unboxing with you guys. So I picked up the course along the way this morning at the NGV. They did do a restock and they had the All Black BFF. Wait, you guys saw earlier in the vlog, I showed you All Black BFF. The... What's the one where he's like holding like two of them? Clean Slate, I think. So they had the all black clean slate, they had along the way in like three different colorways and then two of the companions but in the sort of red tone one and they're all retail price. So the retail price for this is $565 which I actually think is pretty good. Obviously I feel like I shouldn't be buying any more course but I just couldn't help it like because they restocked I just felt so obligated to buy it. So we're gonna unbox it together. Let's just go ahead and open this. It's so cute! So they're like two of these guys together. Wait, how do I... <laughs> Wait, let me show you guys. So this is what it looks like inside. They're super, super cute. I didn't know that they come separate, so I think you can like 
put them together so they can sort of put their arms around each other and honestly the vibe of these two guys this is how i feel me and my friends about getting an l for the air jordan dior raffle this is how i feel right now because today is the first of july and apparently the raffles are meant to be drawn today or they are starting to draw the raffles today but i have not received any emails or texts and I also feel like when I want something too badly I'm not gonna get it so I need to calm down and let me just open this up <laughs> why can't I no. oh my gosh so cute wait let me just get these things off them they always come with like little bits of plastic to protect their hands so like I mentioned before there are three different colorways for this there's the all black I got the brown one which I think is the most OG colorway and also the gray. I don't really know where I'm gonna display this just yet. I might just display it like I have this counter in front of me where I display all my cores. So I think I might put it there. <gasps> so cute! Okay, this is one guy, and then the other guy is in here. I'm actually so happy that I picked it up. I did hesitate for a second because I was thinking like I really shouldn't be spending any more money. Oh, by the way, guys, oh, I almost toppled him over. By the way, the Yeezy Foam Runner dropped a few days ago, or was it last week? I can't remember. But they only dropped it on Yeezy Supply and I did not cop um, on Yeezy Supply and then I sort of panicked and I bought it off StockX and the retail price for the Foam Runner was 75 US dollars and I paid resale. Guys, I paid 655 Australian dollars for something that cost 75 US dollars. I know, that's actually... I don't, I was in some kind of mood and I was thinking like, I really want a pair. They didn't release it here in Australia and I just really, really, really wanted a pair to do a review. So I actually like pulled the trigger, got it off StockX, but I don't think it's going to be here anytime soon because obviously if you buy from Easy Supply, I think it takes a while for them to ship anyway. And then, then the seller needs to ship to StockX. But anyway, anyway, back to the cause. Um, how do you, wait. Yeah, wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait! No, on an angle. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Why does he have a dent on his arm? Is that normal? What? Can you see this? Okay, so when they're together, this is what they look like. So cute! So yeah, let me just um put it. Where should I put it? Like behind me? So that little dent is for like their arms to like link up. Yeah. So cute! Obviously, I won't have this here all the time because Wait. I actually eat here. Oh, it's fine. You don't have to record. I mean, that one's recording, but it's fine. <laughs> um, I don't even know if you guys can see this in the frame, but it is so cute! Also, before I was at Restore Store. Restore? Store? Yeah, <laughs> that just sounds weird. Um, and they had like such a good range of sneakers. If you guys are in Melbourne, highly recommend that you check them out. They did have a pair of the CPFM Air Force Ones that I really, really want. But the thing is with those ones, they didn't have it in my size. Hopefully one day they get it in my size and I might cop one. They also got a bunch of the new Murakami little flower pins in the new colorway and they're so cute so there's like this baby blue one there's a pink one white one and then sort of like a multi-colored one and i just think it's so cute i had this on my obsidian jordan once and i just think it's so so cute they had like the huge murakami pillow which is something i want so bad and there's been so many times that i see it online on the moma site or even the gallery paratin site and i always try and cop it and then when i get to the very last step and I can see the final price with the shipping and the taxes and everything. It's so expensive. I think it usually comes close to like $2,000. And that's the final moment where I need to like think about it. And I'm like, you do not need <laughs> such an overpriced um, cushion. But it's actually really huge and it's so cute. So I feel like that's definitely something that I want to add to my collection one day. But for now, I have this tiny little pin. I also have this cushion here. I think this is the 30 centimeter one that I got from New York. Yeah, I got this from Gallery Paratin in New York. Um, but I actually want the rainbow colorway, which I don't have, but one day. But yeah, you guys should definitely check out Restore Store. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check them out. But yeah, look at this pin. So cute. So I feel like this vlog has gone on for far too long. But we're going to end the vlog with 10 questions from Beatrice. No, and no, some questions because I don't know how many. 
Oh. <laughs> so maybe more than 10, maybe less than 10, we're not too sure yet, but there's gonna be some random questions from Beatrice and I don't actually know um, what she's gonna ask me, so I think this should be really interesting. Also guys, I did mention that I wanna do live streams, but I still haven't figured out my setup because I obviously want it to look like a little bit nicer and I am still trying to figure that out but I will probably be doing another live with Roscoe next week so I'll update you guys on Instagram or even here um, on the like community post thing if I'm doing a live make sure you guys check it out when that does happen but anyway let's uh, start this Q&A what's the weirdest item you keep by your bed? <laughs> Weirdest item? There's nothing exciting next to my bed. I know like people keep exciting things next to like their bed But honestly like next to my bed, it's just like all my makeup like my drawers just all like makeup stuff Is that a bad answer? That was lame. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> next question So these are like the pick one question. Mm -hmm. Comedy movie or horror movie? Comedy. Cats or dogs? Cat dog <laughs> Okay, texting or um, calling? Texting, oh my gosh. If someone calls me, I legit think like something bad has really happened. Like it freaks me out when like people call me, I'm like, I need to pick this up because this person's in trouble. Right? Yeah. I just feel I like, know. do you know? I feel like I'm like definitely a texter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only call me if you're urgent. Don't call me for no reason. That's weird. And also when I get like missed calls from like random numbers, I never pick it up because I'm like, who is this? Yeah. Yeah, but this morning I actually picked up because there was a number from a random call I answered because I thought it might be Dior telling yeah. me like I won the raffle and then I picked it up and it was like an automated voice sound because I said hello and the automated voice sound was like hello and then it just hung up What the fuck? Oh my god, that's so creepy Right? I just thought it was weird and I was just like that was not Dior Okay, cheat or be cheated on <gasps> So I've been cheated on a lot <laughs> in the past Unfortunately, um, wait to cheat. That means for me to yeah, cheat on someone, yeah, or to be cheated on. I feel like I'd rather be cheated on because I feel like cheating on someone is really bad. So because I've experienced it, I don't think I want to. I would do that to someone. I can just ask randomly when I thought of one, right? Yeah. Okay, I thought of one now. Mm -hmm. Where would you like to travel after every, like after the whole pandemic is over? Tokyo. Why? I feel like. Tokyo is definitely one of like Japan is one of my favorite travel destinations. I just like love everything about it. I love the food. I feel like people are like super nice and polite and just like it's just very different from like any other city that I've ever traveled to. And I've been to Japan like five times now, but I love it. And every time I go there, it's messaging me. The second one, do I get a second one? I want to go to the States again. Yeah. yeah. Which part though? Um, Pick a city. I really like New York. I really like New York. Would you be willing to break the law to save your family member? Yeah. Like what kind of law do I have to break? Like f*** someone up. Like if I had to save you and then to break the law. Like yeah. And yeah. Unless it's like something really really bad. But I feel like... Yeah. I feel like I would. Thank you. <laughs> so would you rather have... Well win a lottery mm -hmm. or have true love? At this current moment, mm -hmm. maybe win the lottery. Yeah. If I win the lottery, then I feel like with the wealth, I could do so many things. And then I feel like true love will come eventually. I feel like true love will come naturally, where it's like a lottery, lottery. <laughs> and lottery is not like a natural thing. Do you know what I mean? Like you need to be lucky to get that. Whereas like, I feel like true love would eventually happen. Mm. Oh, okay, this one. Okay. What do you look for in a guy? <laughs> is this okay? No, no, yeah, go, go, go. Right, go. Okay, I'll start again. What do you look for in a guy? Oh, that's the end of the question. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <weird. And> what <laughs> do you look for in a guy you date? I don't know. It sounds weird. I feel like you're gonna continue, but you're like, what do you look for in a guy? Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh my god, this is such a hard question. Does that sound right? Or what do you? Look yeah, yeah. What do you look for in a guy? It's kind of yeah. like saying like, what's your type? Yeah. Right. Honestly, at this stage, I'm a bit confused with what my type is. Ideally, like someone that's like funny and like I guess having the same interests and like someone that's driven and like passionate, genuine. Mm. Yeah. I was talking about like personality-wise, right? 
Are you yeah, talking about like physically? Like, whatever. I think people will be really surprised. I feel like everyone that I've dated in the past, I've actually never dated someone that has like the same like sneaker interests as me or like same mm -hmm. like yeah. like you guys know I'm a bit of like hype beast. I love like all these core stuff and sneakers and like mm -hmm. like all this hype stuff and like I've never actually dated someone in the past that had the same interest. I feel like everyone thinks that I would go for someone like that. But I guess it would be nice. I don't think that really answered the question. But I hope you guys enjoyed that Q&A. If you want to see Beatrice on my channel again, let me know in the comments below and she will definitely be in more of my vlogs. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I feel like this video was probably a little bit too long, but I hope you guys watched till the very end. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye. Don't actually bite it. Wait, don't bite it! Don't actually bite it so you can see if it's fine first. What do you mean? So if you guys are in Melbourne, highly recommend that you guys... Wait, there's too many guys. I'm so full but I can't stop eating. <laughs> oh, my hair is so Mmm! Have you had this before? Yeah. Oh my god, I love sour lollies but it's so good.